Hi and welcome to Little Bits Honey Bees. I'm the Skinny Bee Man. Uh, today's um, August 8th. Pretty warm today. It's about 95 degrees and the heat index is about 102 somewhere in that neighborhood. Pretty warm. I've managed to get the bees fed. Went through about 30 highs on inspection and put in about 20 virgins today. So I'm kind of taking a break here and we're going to make a short video. Get video request wanting to know how to get your hives to draw wax foundation or drawed comb. A lot of factors in getting them to draw comb. One is the bees. Some bees just naturally draw better wax, more wax than others. The lines I run here, I have no trouble. They, they draw wax all summer long. Uh, that's one factor. Probably the biggest factor is you, you got to feed and feed a lot for them to draw wax. It takes roughly six pounds of nectar for them to draw a deep frame of foundation. So it takes a lot of resources to get them to draw. Temperature has a big effect. Bees can't draw wax much under 70 degrees. It's, it's not pliable enough for them to form and, and, and uh, work to make the comb. And if it gets much above 95 degrees, they don't draw a lot of wax. It, it wants to sag on them. I mean, it, you, you've picked out a frame of real fresh comb in a hot day, and it's just like, it'll just flop around like butter. I mean, it's got to support their weight. So I'm going to say they, they draw wax really good between 70 and 90 degrees. Uh, those factors in. Um... You got to have enough bees in the box. You can't expect two frames of bees in a in a five frame nuke to draw a lot of wax. They did, they're taking care of young and foraging for the hive, and that don't leave many bees to uh, draw wax. <clears throat> and the ones that draw the wax are the younger bees. They're they're less than two weeks old. The ones that's drawing the wax. Older bees typically don't draw much wax. So you gotta have a hive that's fairly strong. And if you're feeding, you got all them factors <clears throat> taken care of. There's a few tricks to get them to draw. It's in summertime, they don't wanna draw so much in the summertime. In the springtime, they'll draw really good. In the summertime, it's, it's a little tougher. But if you take a strong box and you go right down to the bottom box in the brood chamber, and say it's a five frame, pull out two frames of, of, of whatever, move it up or take it out of there if it's honey and you don't need it, take it out. And I found that the, they draw starter strips much better than uh, foundation, full sheets of foundation. And, but they, they prefer full sheets of foundation over plastic. But go right down the middle and if uh, the rest of the frames are full, that's another thing. The frame, your frames has got to be, they got to be pretty well congested tight and needing space for them to draw wax. They're just not going to draw wax just to be drawing wax. So, but you put that, uh, a starter strip right down in between two frames of uh, brood and, and skip a frame and checkerboard another one in. And if you've got a lot of bees in that box, Typically, in two and a half days, they ought to draw them two frames out if, if all the other factors is taken care of. Um, you can put it in the, in the hunt up in the, the second box in the summertime. They won't draw it as fast. They, they don't like anything separating their brood chamber. So that's why they'll draw that out and then she'll lay eggs in and it'll become part of their brood chamber. Um, but if you move it to the top box in the summertime, a lot of times they'll draw, draw a drone comb on there. And the reason being, 
they need it for stores. They're not, they're, they're, the uh, queen's not laying and they're needing stores. So they'll, they'll make drone comb. If you put it down in the bottom in the brood nest, typically they'll withdraw a worker cell. Not always, but typically. Um, and that's another thing. If you've got a, a real strong hive and, um, got a lot of bees in there but the queen's not laying active I mean there she's just barely putzing around it's too hot there's no not enough food they won't draw wax I've got a hive right just right over here beside of me I was in it uh, earlier today uh, it's a double deep five frame box she has five frames of cat brood in it two frames of laid up larva and eggs open brood and packed with bees. I mean, you, they're just absolutely packed. And I can put a frame, drop a frame in there, and they'll draw it out in a day and a half, like I'm talking about. They'll, they'll draw it quick, and I get a lot of wax drawed in the summertime. I, I mean, I gotta put them to work doing something. Um, so I just pull frames out of honey, whatever, that I'll use later in the fall and give them new, new starter strips and, and put them to work. I need to get something out of my feed bill. Yeah. But there again, a lot of this heat, I don't know this for a fact, but I'm thinking the main reason that the bees other than the dearth stop laying in the summertime it is it gets some places it gets so hot a queen larva which is just a worker larva and they and we turn it invert it and they make it into a queen larva they will die above 95 degrees if your incubator gets above 95 it'll kill them well you take it out here it's 100 degrees and the heat index is 120 them bees have a horrible time trying to keep that hive cooled down to, to below 95. So when they do that, I think they just shut down. It, it's no advantage to them. If they're going to kill the brood before they can raise it, they just stop laying. That's, that's, that's a big factor. I noticed here two weeks ago we had a real hot spell. We was in the heat index of around 120 for about two weeks, and uh, they really backed off on laying. And evidence of that is I was in the hives today you have cat brood you have no larva because they've not been laying and now it's cooled back off and the whole box is just laid up with eggs and real small larvae so that's a good indication that they've quit laying for a period of time <laughs> but that that's about it on on the drawing the wax uh, main thing is to feed I mean, it takes a lot of food and you can't just go out there and say well i want wax drawed and start feeding and they're immediately going to start drawing wax they it's good they're going to have to have it for a while get their stores built up and and feel comfortable that there's stuff coming in the door before they'll draw and you shouldn't have any trouble drawing the wax uh, i hope you enjoy the videos i hope you learned something kind of being lazy it's been a pretty rough day and kind of just do a talk teach you a little bit of something but sitting under the shade tree watching the bees uh, flying work they're working pretty hard today but if you like the videos hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it you get notified when we put more out and uh, you guys have a great day